What's going on, YouTube? What's going on, man? Shit, I had a crazy day at the track. Just want to let y'all know we plugged in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's check out the seed. 15, 8, 3, 4, 3 horsepower. She ran... All over the track, I ran one good time, a one nine two. It was pretty decent. That was the first one. After that, she was all over the track. I mean, all over the track. But yeah, that's what I got. Too much power going through the damn car for me to actually call this thing a track car, cause she's not doing what she was supposed to do. She won't get straight down there. I got to fight her to get down there. I had to fight to get that 192. So, it is what it is, man. We're going uh, we to get it right. But yeah, that's the, that's the vitals for when I went down here to last year. She ran pretty good, man, as far as number-wise, but she didn't perform all that great. We're going to make some uh, adjustments. Got too much power going down there. That's why my tires are always getting killed. All right, fam. As always, be easy. Y'all get out there and build something, yo. What's up, YouTube fam? What's happening, man? Shit, we got Nemesis back on the table. I had a shitty day at the track. Man, when I tell you she was all over the place, it, it was my fault, though. I operated headspace, you know what I'm saying? But she was all over the place. Yeah, I put down 15, I think it was 843 horsepower. I got a picture of it and I got the video I took of it, of the, uh, me um, taking the information off the computer. Yeah, man, but I, I went back there and looked at my throttle curve and that was my problem. My throttle curve was in the ex it was in my experimental stage. I forgot all about the, that I did that to the car. So now let me show y'all something real quick. This is how your Castle Creations thing um, throttle curve look on the normal. You know what I'm saying? It goes straight up like that. This is cool. This will work for you. You know what I'm saying? You pull a little power from the house so you can bang it and get on out. This right here is what I had did to mine. This will not work at all. All it's going to do is make it look cool. You'll smoke up some tires, ruin tires, break parts and shit because it's going to be too much power for the car to be able to handle that's why I, I got uh, 15, 843 horsepower. But it was all, it was probably 60% unused power. It was just a lot of wheel spin. So if you guys ever do this, just look for it. Just look to tear your car up. Because that's all this is going to do. It's going to tear your car up when you take your throttle curve up and then go that way. So you got to pull it down like normal. You know what I'm saying? I just was trying something new. And it did not work for me. I broke. I, I wound up wrecking the car a couple times when it wouldn't normally wouldn't wreck, just because when the punch kicked in and I had my punch set at eighty and eighty five, when I had uh, the punch kicked in, the car just flipped the fuck over. Excuse my language, but it done. It, it it'll break traction and flip over. And I, my body, my pretty new body, is not pretty and new anymore. You know what I'm saying? It is. It is doing went through the paces. And I made one good pass while I was down there at the track, bro. One good pass. And I fought with her the, the, way, the, the way down there to get this one good pass. Y'all see what I got? One, nine, two. And that's not even, that's not even, like, I mean, it's a good pass. But that's not an advancement from where I was at. I was at a one, nine, oh. So that's like I went backwards. Even with more horsepower coming out of the car. More power doesn't always mean better numbers, man. For real. You got to make the car controllable so it can get down there straight. If you're fighting with your car to get down there, you're losing time and, and you're going to probably lose the race. So I just set everything back the way I had it when I had it going straight as an arrow. And now I'm just going to play with my punch control and see if I can bring it back to about the beginning of the six foot. And have it at least so it, it hits in the six foot and leave out like that. <coughs> but yeah, man, that's... That's basically what I had going on, man. It was my fault. You know what I'm saying? Well, nobody fault but mine. Yeah, as always. You know what I mean? But you see how I clean my tires? You see, you can still see some stuff in the phone. That's essential, man. If you're going to run good numbers and you want to run good numbers, you got to clean your tires. You're going to have to take some duct tape. 
excuse me, some regular, not too abrasive, not too uh, sticky duct tape. And you're going to have to clean your tires in between runs. And I, I say that is to say this. Look how dirty these tires are right here. Right? These are real dirty. Now watch this. Watch this right here. I'm about to peel me off a piece of tape. And if, if you have cheap crappy tires and they just like them cheap little eBay joints or something, I probably wouldn't do this because this might pull the foam. It will pull foam off of BSRs and, and all kind of good tires. It'll pull the foam off of there if it's loose or broken or whatever have you. So I do this. I do this with my tires, and this is finna be my my practice in between runs. The car will not get driven back to the pit. I'm gonna pick it up, take it back to the pit, and we gonna skin the tires down. See that? It pulls off all of that trash. All of that stuff that's inside the pores of the tires pulls all of it off. Now the tires is clean. You can do it probably two, three more times and then it'll be super clean. But I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to do the other one I got over here. It leaves, like a, it leaves somewhat of an um, adhesive on the tire because it's got, it gets kind of, I ain't going to say sticky, but... You'll see what I'm saying. I'm out there. Hopefully, y'all can hear it too. You, you should see. You'll see what I'm saying in a second. Let me get this tape off. See, you pull the tape off, cleans off. Yeah, this old tore up tire right here. This old tire. You see, it's, it gets it gets all in your in your grooves. That's why you want to rub it all in, mash it in real good, and then pull all of the trash and debris out of the pores of the um, tire. Now, these two have been done. Watch. Listen to it. You hear that? That's just them rolling on each other. That's that tack right there, baby. That's what you want. You don't even really need um, belt conditioning. You can just tape your tires before you put it down on the line. Don't roll it to the line. Tape your tires, clean them off, and set it down on the line, and get your run. And you'll get you some good numbers. You, everybody trying to get them. Everybody wants to get down into one sevens, one sixes, one eights. Some of y'all goals are one eights, and some of y'all goals are one nines. You know, because y'all in the twos. Everybody trying to get lower. So that will help you get lower. That's something I'm about to incorporate. This roller tape right here is about to go in my toolbox. You know what I'm saying? So you can go get you a little roller duct tape. You know what I'm saying? A little cheap roller duct tape. It ain't got to be super thick. You know what I'm saying? Something, something that you can you can tear off with your hand, no problem. And use that to clean your tires in between runs so you can get your good numbers in, man. Because that's what I'm finna do with mine. I see how it cleans the tires off real good. And it, and it gives them a little stick. I can feel it even with my hands. I can feel the stick to it. And the proof right there. I don't know no other dry tires sounding like that. Those ain't got no sauce on them at all. None. These ain't got no sauce on them. Cause I don't sauce my tires too tough like that. I'm mean, maybe my uh my my uh pro my bandit, yeah, but not this car. We don't sauce the tires. We just run straight and naked. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's all I have for y'all right now, man. I'm probably get me another Corvette body. I'm gonna run my other body that I got. I messed it up. I'm gonna get me another body though, cause I like to have a clean body on my car, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. But yeah, man, I didn't break nothing or nothing like that. I had it flipped over once. And I ran into the uh, center divider one time, and that was it. I ain't break nothing though. You know what I'm saying? She was, she still good to go. Only thing I had happen was, um, I will say this, my my uh, my shock. I mean, not my shock, but my little uh, what do you call it? Came out. It came out of uh, uh, the little housing thing. So the body looked all retarded, like something was wrong with. It. But once I got it home and took everything apart, I just seen I just had to put a screw back in the bottom of this, and it was a 100. But uh. As far as that, man, that's all I got for you, man. Shit, we up and running, and we'll get some hits in maybe this weekend, cause though. All right, fam, be easy.